Hi, this is David Chen. Today we're unboxing Synology uh, Desk Station DS1815 with Intel Atom processor, a 64-bit quad-core 2.4 gigahertz processor, and uh, come with a 2 gigabyte DDR3 memory, expendable to 6 gigabyte uh, memory by adding uh, another 4 gigabyte units in there. It does come with 8-bit uh, 8 drive bay, so you can put a hard drive on this particular unit. Uh, each drive bay comes with a, a drive tray that you can fit either 3.5 inch uh, hard drive or 2.5 inch hard drive, the notebook hard drive. It comes with a screw that you can just screw onto a tray so it will function that way. Uh, as you can see from this particular box, externally it doesn't have any particular shining box. It just have plain old cardboard box because this is actually a professional unit. So it comes with a regular cardboard box with a sticker mentioned it's a DS1A15. It comes with a two network cable, one AC cable, a 2.5 inch hard disk drive mounting screw and two key for the lock on the, the drive uh, bay tray. Uh, it comes with simple foam and uh, it works very well. I do have a unit on uh, DS407 back in the day uh, around 2007 which is uh, it only it comes with four drive bay but only only come with a 80 mil 180 millimeter fan so that particular unit overheat a lot so when the temperature in the room is uh, more than 95 degrees it will shut down or slow down depending on the situation make it beep, beep sound but this particular unit does come with a two 120 millimeter fan so it, it's well ventilated from outside this box you can see it's a it's mostly it's a matte uh, service, so it won't have a uh, fingerprints on it. It looks very well. And two side, you got Synology uh, logo. It's actually vented area, and so your your cold air can go through uh, both side. Uh, on the right side, you got a power unit, so you won't have a a power brick or power adapter hanging outside unit since this is a professional unit you just want to have a AC cable to connect directly to the unit then the left side you got the, the system board the system board is uh, where you can install the additional 4 gigabyte of uh, memory but I will show you how to install of 2 8 gigabyte hard uh, mem uh, the memory so it'll be 16, 16 uh, gigab uh, gigabyte of uh, memory. Also, this is a bed unit. You do have optional to install two five bay uh, expansion unit, which is uh, it will increase the total size of this particular unit to 18 drive bays and works very well. And it's connected. The drive bay is connected by SATA unit which is uh, each SATA, is eSATA actually uh, uh, can go pretty fast. So it's a five gigabyte of uh, uh, speed so per second. So it works very well. So you don't have to worry about since it's expansion unit, does it slow down? No, it's actually works perfectly. Uh, that, from this view, you can clearly see where you put the additional memory. That's where the white little slot, you can slide in the additional 4 gigabyte of memory. And uh, as you can see, a power unit is very sturdy, Look, looks very strong, and it's nicely ventilated from the worst analogy on the cover of the box. And the two swap out the fan is actually pretty easy just in case there's an issue with the fan and uh, which is if uh, the fan doesn't work you you're, you're gonna have really hot unit so to swap out fan you just take out the four little screws and the you can swap out your 
two 120 millimeter fans. Works very well, and you can see a connector from the back side of for the hard drive. So it's very nice, easy, compact unit. Works great. To install hard drive, just pop out uh, the drive bay trays, pop out the two side mounting uh, bracket, put the hard drive in there, then put the two slide mounting uh, bracket back. Then it's already installed because the bracket actually hold uh, the hard drive together. It's a toolless system. Uh, it's much better than before. Before you need to actually screw every single uh, drive in. And uh, this is easy, easier to replace different units that way. Works great. And you don't have any rattle or anything like that because it's nicely engineered. And it works, uh, works great when you slide in. It won't have any issues. The drive tray, you do have uh, four little uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, screw holes. Now uh, I show you how to uh, put a key, lock lock the unit up so the, the unit won't pop out when you press the, the cover. So drive bay would be just like that. So for the 2.5 millimeter uh, hard disk drive, you just screw it in, put, put it in there, then it'll, everything will work. Now we're installing the DSM software. I just uh, speed up the video because it's actually take a, a while to to start to finding on your internal network. You go find.synology.com. That's F I N D dot S Y N O L O G Y dot com, and uh, it will find the Synology Desk Station unit. Then they will ask you to install a desk station manager unit, that's DSM 5.2. Right now it's on update five. And uh, once you install, it will restart and you need to enter your administrator account. And since this is a professional unit, you might want to have a manager unit or manager account and user account. So you don't have any uh, issue with administrator account. Of course you can uh, do a lot putting a server name, username, password. Then uh, there you go. It will say find Synology.com. That's how you find the unit itself. The instruction booklet pretty much uh, just say, tell you how to find the unit so you can install DSM. When the, once you install DSM, it will have the help, help section that you can easily figure out. And for the update, uh, you can check every day, every weekend or every night on this. And uh, they just say, set you up with a uh, auto system. And for the quick connect, uh, you if you have uh, you want to access a unit from outside your uh, internal network, you can use that. Put uh, pull forwarding on your router, then you can access your uh, desk drive. Uh, the station unit from outside. Now I in finish install the DSM software. We're looking at the how to format and uh, mount the four drive onto the unit. I put four drive in this particular unit just uh, to start. I, and it's very easy on this particular unit. You can just uh, you can just uh, go to the volume and uh, they will say to start the volume, they will format all your desk. This one, I just show you the DSM help on online navigating your uh, system. I, this is first time you first time uh, boot up, it will show you this help so you can find the solution yourself. Then later, uh, you can option of uh, not show up, just go straight to a desktop. And uh, once it blew up, they will double check, make sure your uh, DSM is updated. So I updated and uh, logging back in again. So I can start mounting my uh, hard drive into a unit. 
You go to uh, Storage Manager. As you can see, there's a mini function on this particular uh, software. And uh, to mount a unit, you go to the Storage Manager. Uh, as you can see, I mount the center four because the uh, first one and last one, I would like to uh, leave a little bit more space for right now since it's not full. So better ventilation. And uh, you can put on different RAID system. I put in one single volume on RAID because uh, when, when you use a RAID, you might, depend on which system you got to use, you might lose uh, some space. Uh, I'm using uh, Western Digital Red Drive, four terabyte. I got four different units here, which is after formatting, I only have a 3.64 uh, terabyte. And uh, I decide to just use a uh, the regular uh, uh, regular uh, SHR, which is Synology Hybrid Rate. You can go to Synology.com and read up on uh, what's the difference between Synology Hyper Rate versus uh, Ray 4, Ray 5. Uh, I mean, Ray 5 and Ray 6. There's a difference on those, which is uh, sometimes if you have... Uh, different uh, drive uh, they might be beneficial to have a uh, uh, more space because uh ray fi the way ray fi works sometimes you will lose space if you put too many different size for size of hard drive in there and uh when you set up a volume they will reformat everything and do all the uh, system check on it and uh, usually take about a couple of days, but in half hour, you can start using units, start slowly uh, move the, the data in there. If you have, you are transferring from your backup drive into the, into the, your de desk station to uh, store up the data. Um, Ray is not backup, it's totally do two different items. Um, so, even though you might have Ray, but if you have another system just for backup, backup will be the backup. The Ray system just allow you to access all those hard drive faster and safer way. So one of a hard drive fail, you still can be functional, but there's a possibility you're gonna have two hard drive fail at the same time or uh, while rebuild the system, it fell. So you still need to have a backup. So I got four hard drive, four terabyte, four four terabyte hard drive in there. So actually, take me about two days to uh, to uh, make it functional, fully functional to normalize the system. Uh, while you work on it and it works pretty good now i'm installing the uh, uh, swapping out both um memory actually install a new one and the swap out the, the two gigabyte with eight gigabyte so and uh, install two more hard drive one for just uh backup by my apple units and uh, the other one just expanding on my vo original volume so it'll be a five uh, hard disk drive uh, drive volume instead of a uh, total of six because uh, Apple Time Machine they only can recognize maximum of 16 terabyte and uh, when I installed that many hard drive it will surplus that so it won't recognize that way uh, as you can see the one with inside is a little bit harder to install so it'll take me a little bit time to uh, to install this particular unit so each unit, I actually put additional label so I know when I bought the drive and uh, which bay it comes. And uh, I did put the, the bay number on the drive tray. That just for a simple identification. In case I have issue later, I know which tray it go to. Uh, to expand the volume, actually right now I'm adding another volume than original. I go to... Uh, storage uh, manager then go to the volume and uh, say uh, create a new volume volume 2 and it will take uh, some time to 
re, uh, format and uh, check the drive you and the list just one drive take me about a whole day and uh, to uh, expand on the drive it actually take me two days because I need to scan the service surface of the drive and uh, moving data so it will have total of uh, uh, nice even um, data on the array instead of just a uh, uh, just like uh, concentrate on other one, the old one. So it's slowly even out. It actually take two days to inc to do the whole whole uh, volume uh, normalized uh, function. But right now I got a uh, drive bay eight for the time machine and the uh, number two through number six for the normal volume on the uh, operation which in have my my video and uh, my music and the uh, data and uh when I use my when I use my uh Final Cut Pro it actually works very well because I use a gigabit uh lane instead of a wireless and this particular um unit allow four hundred megabits of uh speed uh uh, both read and write, so it works very good. And uh, the gigabit uh, lane only really go for around 800 uh, megabit, but you got the overhead, which is decrease a lot. So actually, it can go through a whole speed very well. And I use the black magic to test the actual speed and actually can go to uh, around 110 megabyte, which is around 800 and uh, 880 megabits. So it works very well. Max out this particular uh, the gigabit lane. And uh, in theory, you can put uh, maybe three, three uh, user maximally transferring file at the same time. So this is a very nice unit, fast unit. And uh, if you use gigabit lane on everything, it actually works great. And you, this particular unit do offer LAN aggregation, which is uh, you can link for uh, LAN to, to uh, fasten up the speed too. So it works great. So this is uh, introduction of the Synology. Thank you.